This is uh, Roy Kelly for seconds out, joined by Darlington's Trojan, the very own Troy Williamson, ahead of his fight on Saturday against Remi Ramiro Blanco. How are you doing, Roy? You right, mate? It's been a while, Troy, since we've seen you with your top off and your gloves on. What have the last eight months been like for you? Uh, yeah, very good. Been living well. Uh, I've, got a, I've got a baby on the way, um, so happy days. Just roll on Saturday night and, yeah. All, that's all that's in me in my mind right now, Saturday night. I know at some point, unless you're Joe Calzaghe or Floyd Mayweather, every box has got a taste of defeat somewhere along the line. How has it been for you since losing to Josh Kelly for British title last December? It wasn't nice. Um, obviously, like you say, you don't want to lose. I'm, I, I hate losing. I'm a winner. I'm a winner at heart. But it wasn't nice. But it's, you live, you live. And obviously, that, that's all that matters. Obviously, I went on, we both went on safe to our families and... Good to see another day, obviously, and obviously there's plenty of bigger fights out there for me. You've got uh, Ramiro Blanco as your opponent on Saturday, um, an overseas boxer with a varied record. Um, what do you expect to see from, from him on Saturday? Well, uh, well, I think he's definitely, he's not just, uh, he's not just going to come and lie down, and uh, he's definitely going to come and have a go, so um, I, expect, like you say, I, might, I expect a good fight, I respect anybody that steps through them ropes, so... With them small gloves, anything can happen. So I've got to be switched on at all times and just take care of business. Yeah, like I say, while he's got a varied record, I think he's got 10 stoppages among his 19 wins, which suggests he might be able to dig a little bit. Yeah, but yeah, I think they can all dig out this sort of weight. I know he boxed that super middleweight in his last fight, which was only a few weeks ago. So, listen, I, I, I prefer every fight, like, like I prepare for every fight as if it's like a world title fight. I train really hard, so... I don't, uh, don't overlook anybody. Um, you, you have had a long absence from the ring, Troy. What can we expect from you on Saturday? Will we be looking to get the rounds in? Yeah, I've just been saying, obviously, if, if, if he's doable and I can't get him out there, obviously I'll be doing the rounds. But if I can get him out there and I smell blood, then I'm going to be taking him out. Um, recently, coming back from elbow elbow surgery, so I want to be testing that out, see how that feels. Uh, yeah, just like a dominant performance. You, you must be delighted to be on the Wasserman bill, having been on the last one. Yeah, I'm delighted uh, just to be back boxing up in the, the, like we said, the, the home of North East in Newcastle. So I'm uh, bringing hundreds of people with me from Dalton and Teesside. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, once you've got Saturday out the way, um, what would you like in your career? You've been a great British champion in victory and defeat. Where, where would you like to go from here? I want to. I want to be straight. I want. I'm going older for a week straight afterwards, um, and then I want to be back out in like October, November time. I want to be staying active, an active fighter, a happy fighter, and I want these big fights. Any particular titles you've you've got your eyes on at the moment? No, not really. Like titles are just titles. Obviously, I, I, want, I want these big fights. It's all about money at the end of the day. I've got I've got, I've got a family on the way now. I've got a mortgage to pay, so. Whoever's paying the best money, then that's the we're going to be going. Whatever fights that got offered, I'll be taking them if they if they were worth the while. Yeah, there's a great British clash plan for Abu Dhabi, maybe later on this year between Chris Eubank Jr. and Conor Ben. Should Conor overcome his um, UCAD problems, where do you see that going? And would you like the muscle into something like that? It all depends on what sort of weight. If I'm honest, uh, if you drag Chris Eubank down too low then you've got to favour Conor Ben because he's explosive he's young and he's very hungry um, but yeah you can't really comment on that until I know what sort of weight it is really but yeah obviously I'd, lo I'd, I'd love any, any kind of that I'd, I'd love just to fly over to Abu Dhabi any, anywhere in the Middle East and Josh Kelly v uh, Gabriel Corzo on Saturday in the, the main event in Newcastle how would you see that one going obviously you saw Josh Kelly at very close quarters last time out to be honest with you, I've never, I don't know nothing about this cause though. Um, I know he's an unbeaten fighter, so he's coming to win. Um, but yeah, obviously, Josh Kelly on his night, you're saying he's very, very hard to, to nail down. Uh, so I think he's in for this cause or guy, I think he's in for a tough night, and I expect that Kelly win. Yeah. Were, you, were you a bit surprised with, with how good maybe Josh was that night? How how slick he was? How hard to hit? Nah, I knew exactly how good he was now. How, how, his ring craft in the ring. I, I just uh, what 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 did um, surprise me a little bit was his engine. He kept his engine. I thought he was going to blow off to six, which he didn't. So that's the only thing that surprised me. Thanks very much for your time, Troy, and all the best for Saturday. You're very cheers, mate.